Hey there, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis, and I want to talk for a moment about the phrase, I can't. It's interesting that we often use the phrase, I can't, to describe things that we are technically, physically capable of doing, like we have track records of actually having done this type of thing in the past, but it just feels hard, or if it's overwhelming, or we don't want to do it, but we'll say, I can't, when we actually mean something else. Um, and it's interesting that in the brain, the brain doesn't differentiate between true thoughts and untrue thoughts. It actually can't tell the difference. It will react to both of them as if they're all true. So if you think, I can't, sometimes you end up lying on your bed watching videos because your, your brain and your body are like, well, if you can't do that thing, I'm just going to not do it. I'm not going to try. And it will shut you down. Uh, one way that I found at least as one tool among other things that have been helpful to to work with this is replacing I can't with I can and. So it might sound like I can write that email and I don't want to, or I can write the email and it's hard and I don't know what to say, or I don't know how to phrase this in a way that would come across as polite, um, or I can write the essay, but I don't have all the information that I need. Or um, I can tell my boss that I'm not going to be at this event, um, but I feel guilty about it and I'm not quite sure how to phrase it. And I don't really want to navigate this conversation. But when you're specific about what's actually going on, you in some ways actually take back a little bit of control over the situation because now you know what you need to deal with and it doesn't solve the issue but it it helps feel like you can manage it a little bit better so that's something that's been helpful for me i hope that that might be useful for you at least to some extent all right i'm curious how you might translate this into your own life how maybe you can comment below and describe how you would like to try it out. And if you've liked this, if you found it helpful, please press the like button, subscribe if you're interested in getting other videos like this in the future. Thank you. Have a narrow, wonderful day.